Hey, before we get into it, Melbourne, my comedy festival shows are on sale right now. Lewspears.com, straight out of Frankston. It's on sale right now. Get your tickets. We take afterpay, all that. It's going to be sick. Melbourne, I want to see you there. Yes, I'll, I'll also be at the comedy festival doing the same venue. Yep, so you, you can, can come see, see us, us back to back. Both in the same night. That'll be good. Uh, Organise your mates. I'm also going everywhere. Should I read all the days again? There's yeah, so many. Wagga, Orange, Dubbo, Port Macquarie, Tamworth, Mildura. Uh, that show's selling like shit, so please come. Uh, Geelong, <laughs> Warnable, Shepherd and Ballarat, Bendigo, uh, Terrelgan, Albury, Canberra, Wollongong, Newcastle, Sydney, Adelaide, Darwin, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, Bundaberg, Mackay, Townsville, Cairns, Rockhampton, Logan Home. That's the Frankston of Brisbane. Right. So I'm going to see a lot of comments straight out of Logan, Logan home. home. Not even asking why you're going there, just Logan Home and then laughing emojis. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lismore, Launceston, Hobart, Perth, Mandra, Bunbury, and Fremantle. Open your borders, WA. All right. Great. So people can buy tickets. LukeKidgel.com, LewSpears.com. We'll see you there. Enjoy the show. Yes. <laughs> Start of a brand new year. Yep. Big things coming. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did someone put that in there? <laughs> <laughs> Big things coming. Felt unnecessary. <laughs> For us? Oh, yeah. So, um, for audio dude. listeners, Lewis has walked in yep. in his best suit. My his only, only suit. My only suit. Yep. Um, walked in wearing a suit and uh, Nikes. Yeah. Very Frankston of him. You, you look like you're going to court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am. We are. We might end up in court at the end of this, mate. That's oh, why okay. I've dressed very formally yeah. for the occasion. No collar. No collar. Forgot a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, that's why I'm wearing my Luke and Lewis Waste of Time shirts. I thought I might as well get a quick merch plug in okay. while Where can I. You buy I those? Huh? Where can you buy those? Luke and Lewis dot shop or whatever. Yeah. Luke and Lewis five dot shop. I don't know. Look. Luke and Lewis dot shop. Luke and Lewis dot shop. Okay. Good. Well, there's options for you. They've guys. been flying, by the way. Not those. Not ones. Not these ones. That's why I'm wearing this one. We have to restock a bit of fun. That's how much they've been. Wow, this show is a bit of fun. Mate, we're getting off track, okay? Yeah. I know you like to talk about money, but this is an even bigger money conversation. Oh, shit. Okay? That's why I'm wearing this suit. Uh, and, and, gee, it's hot. Yeah. It's, it's so hot. 33 degrees today. I'm cooking. And also, I've definitely put on a lot of weight since the last time I was in Thailand because, geez, my, <laughs> my nuts hurt so much. Yeah. They've never tailored a suit for a man this long before. They didn't leave enough room in this section because the... the so well, your nuts have grown since 2018. No, I think the... Or 2016. My, 2016, yeah. Shit, get yeah. a new suit. It's the vaccine. Um, yeah. <laughs> dude, hey, enough laughter. This is serious. Okay, okay. guys, uh, we need to talk about the fog bit. Luke, okay, my most famous client. As you know, I'm a manager. Yep. The fog bit, the greatest stand-up bit of all time. Yep. Okay, this is a bit that, uh, look, you abandoned because you said it wasn't good enough. So I decided to take the fog bit under my wing and I decided to manage it. You, my bit now. You made the fog bit a star. I did. Because without your help, it would have been lost in a notepad mm-hmm. mid-2018. Yep. And instead, it got it, it. the fog bit has been performed to quite literally tens of thousands of people yep. all around the country over the Standing last two years. Standing ovations around the country. The, st- the fog bit is a bit of stand-up that Luke Kidgel wrote shortly yep. before he abandoned, tried many times, and it never worked. And it has other comedians scared. Yeah. Like a lot of people, when they think great bits of even Australian stand-up, they mm. think Carl Barron sucked mango. Yeah. Great bit. Mm. Jim Jeffries gun control. Lewis Spears, gay Hitler. Mm. No one's really... It's, it's never entered the conversation, but there's been whispers, There's maybe. been a few whispers, A few yeah. whispers. Hasn't been filmed yet. But then when you think it now, mm. these days, that was pre-2018. Yeah. Now, when you think Australian comedy, people think fog. It's only fog bit. Okay? Yeah. You can't even see the other bits. That's how much fog has just obscured the view. And this is a bit that you wrote and tried you know to perform many times. You know what's funny is the other day, mm. Frenchie goes, oh, I, had, I haven't sold out my Melbourne show. And I went, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's, whoops. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that, Frenchie. That is <laughs> our fault. Yeah. Well, Should have, maybe could have done a bit about fog. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's because the demand for fog is overwhelming. It's yeah. a bit that never really worked until I came to the show. You you were prepared to drop the fog bit and just give up on it and never do it again because it wasn't working. I wanted to. You wanted to. Oh, that's how it started. I came on this show mm. and said, Lewis, it needs to go. And I don't even remember why we were particularly talking about bits that were bombing at open mics. <laughs> well, it was just something that personally amused me, <laughs> yeah, watching so. you try and work this bit out that was just not working at all. Have you heard my new neck bit? Neck bit? <laughs> no. Could it be the next fog bit? No. <laughs> 
Okay, all right. Because I am looking for more clients. If you're considering dropping another bit, you know, just tell Neckbit. Do I have to let you know? So just give Neckbit my phone number. Do <laughs> now before I drop a bit, do I have to let you know? Yeah. Okay. Just let me know. Send me the audio at least because okay. I'm looking for new talent. Right. The fog bit uh, was something that never worked. You were going to drop. That's when I came to the show years ago and I said, guys, every time Luke Hidgel does a show, I want you to demand that he performs the fog bit. And people re- responded, great. They started chanting fog bit at every single show and they forced you into doing it. Even, even shows that, you weren't, that were not your shows where you were a, su- a surprise drop in. Yeah. There's a couple Luke and Lewis fans in the audience. They start chanting fog bit. It happened at you a corporate do gig. One five minutes. All, all of a sudden it's abandoned. Yes. You have to do the fog bit. Yeah, yeah. The plan was working. Yeah, and it happened at a corporate gig, which uh, me and the company who yeah. paid me to be there were pretty annoyed about. Well, I was very happy about it because yeah. as the manager of the fog bit, that meant that I got a cut of your corporate fee cash. because uh, uh, you, you dropped the fog bit, I picked it up, and yep. it's a, probably my biggest client. Yeah. Um, and uh, every time the fog bit is performed, obviously I get a big slice of whatever money is garnered. Big. But yeah, big, because I'm a good manager and you get what you pay for. <laughs> sure. Yeah, 90%. So <laughs> I have here, mate, for you, Huge opportunity. Oh, okay. Let me just put- I'll be honest. I thought the fog bit was done. Well, no, it's not. It's definitely not done. But I guess we hadn't to- spoken about it. Well, I've, I've got this here, right? Okay. In my little document folder. Okay. I've got here a contract. Now it definitely looks like you're defending yourself in court. <laughs> He's pulled out a piece of paper, which clearly just has texture written on it. Correction. Whiteboard marker. I have here a contract. To renew the fog bit okay. with me. All Can right. Let's read it. And my management company. So, this is what you want me to sign? Spears Management, yeah. I, Luke Hidgel, will do the fog bit, <laughs> uh, property of Lewis Spears, mm-hmm. every day that you've crossed it out, every show yeah. until I die. Yeah. Sign here. Well, I decided to negotiate on your behalf. I thought every day was a bit too much. Yeah. So, I've already fixed that up, and now it's every single show that you perform. What do you think about that? Give that a sign. And that's uh, uh, in perpetuity, so forever. In the universe? One of those deals? Yeah, yeah. In perpetuity, in the known universe. Yeah. Some contracts actually have that on it. They have in Just the in case universe. we go to Mars and the manager can't take 10%. What's the argument for having that in there? Is that just in case... Did some lawyer go, what if he takes heaps of LSD and genuinely believes he's in another dimension? <laughs> does that void our contract? Probably does. Yeah. So that's a good lawyer. Yeah. Uh, I will not be signing this. What? And I will not be, and I want to make this an official announcement. And that's right. I know I'm going to get emails, perhaps people, and fair enough. If you Hey, wa- think about your career here, man. I, Luke Kidger, will not be performing the fog bit on this year's tour. What? You missed it. It happened. People loved it. People rejoiced in it. And they missed it. They missed it. It's gone. Well, you know what, Luke Hidgel? And and I think that's fair. I toured it for two years. You did sure, tour it. Sure, it was in years. a pandemic, but yeah. I did every single show on my tour. Yeah. Well, but I cancelled some. Cancelled some. But you should have got tickets earlier. I went to every single place. But the year before that, you did every show you, you scheduled yeah. in. So there were plenty of opportunities to see it. Uh, yeah. Just say, just say yes. 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 Right? Look, I had a feeling as a manager of the Fog Bit. So you knew this was a shit deal? Signing away the bid forever. Well... <laughs> Look, so that hey man, it's business. Okay, it's nothing personal. You're a very good friend of mine. Yes, but I'm a businessman. Sure. And money comes first in all yep. things. We all know this. Yep. All right. And that was a very, very, very good contract for me. So, <laughs> I I thought that you might say no to that, and that's why I have here a second contract that I'm going to pull out of my other breast pocket. Wow. Where is it? So I've got a vest as well that has breast pockets. There's a lot of yeah. pockets. Mate, I've got a lot of contracts in here. You're a busy man. I am a very busy Thanks man. Thanks okay? so much for giving us your time. So if you want to be lazy and you want to just throw away the biggest opportunity of your life, yep. you know whose loss that is? Yours. Okay. okay. I want you to have a look at this contract that I don't want you to sign. Have a look at that. Read that one. I, and then it's blank, blank, will do the fog bit mm. every day, every show until I die. Yeah. And you know who blank blank is? Anyone I want it to be. Because you're replaceable. The fog bit can be performed by anyone. 
The fog bit is such a good piece of comedy. Yeah. It doesn't matter the comedian that does it. it you're, you're nothing. It will outlive me. It will outlive you. Yes. As the best bit of comedy of all time, I will say this. Any person on earth can perform the fog bit. Yeah. So if you wanted to send an audition tape to lukeandlewis5 at gmail.com <laughs> performing your best rendition of the fog bit, I'll have a look at all of these auditions and I'll pick a winner. I'm going to, send, I'm going to do an open casting call to the listeners of the show and I'm also going to reach we, out to other comedians. Are we releasing a, we'll release a small a segment. snippet of it yeah. for like a snippet of, of the bit? Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Just the first couple lines of the fog bit will release to the public. Yeah. And uh, if you want to send an audition tape through, you could be the next performer of the fog bit and you'd be managed by me. Honestly, can I say, mm. and I know that you wanted me first and I, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Right. Although you kind of came in second there. You made me feel valuable and then, and then you made me feel worthless. Well, that's that's the key of a good management. Yeah. Emotional manipulation, mate. But can Please I be give honest? Give him some love, take it away. I Part of me it will be sad to lose the fog bit. Obviously, it made yeah. my career mm. what it is today. Yeah, it's, it's the only reason I'd be no, nothing without it. Can you hear that? That's refunds yeah. flying through the door. <laughs> and I don't blame Going people. to Luke Kidgel's inbox, I want my money back. Yeah. The fog bit isn't being performed. That's the only reason. I'm, I don't even, I'm not interested in Luke Kidgel. I'm interested in the fog bit. Yeah. But can I just say, mm. after the disaster that was the Loogies, once we walked yeah. off stage, mm. I don't think I'm fit to be performing the fog bit and anymore. And I'm glad you said that because that shows a big level of self-awareness, Luke. Because It was a disaster. The, the last time you performed the fog bit was the worst performance I've ever seen in my life. It was Luke, really bad. Luke's at the Lukies, right? <laughs> the Luke and Lewis Award yeah, yeah. Show. Every single person who listens to this show is a big fan of the fog bit. Of course. He forgets that they would want him to perform the fog bit, which both of us said we were going to do. <laughs> and, and as a manager... Do you know how much fucking money I had to send back to the comics lounge because you only performed one third of the bit? Yeah, no, seven hundred thousand dollars. About seventy five. Wow, seven hundred thousand dollars. I had to refund. That's a to lot. Them. Yes. Um, that doesn't even. That seems high. My holiday house in Miami fucking demolished Gone. because of you and your lack. <laughs> well, of you're work a pretty ethic. bad manager because there was a discussion where so. We ended the live stream of the Loogies. We were like, thank you so much. We walk off stage. Yeah. All of a sudden, mm. to our surprise, but it shouldn't have been. Yeah. Fog bit. Fog bit. The people fog start bit. chanting. The whole room just yeah. starts chanting fog bit. Mm. You, you're not a great manager because you go, oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot about this. And I'm, then, up to my, I'm up to my ears in contracts, mate. Right. You should see some, my other ways. Then pockets. you go to me as the manager. You turn the manager thing on real fucking quick. Yeah. You go, do you remember it? And I go, no. <laughs> I haven't done it for three months. The last yeah. time I did it was in September before mm. that. The yeah. last show of my tour. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't tour around at local gigs anymore. It's only, at, mm. you know, it, it's slowly, I'm making it more exclusive. Yeah. Right. It's an exclusive bit. People chanted it at my Brisbane trial show. Mm. Didn't do it. No, they didn't pay enough to get in. How no. much were tickets? 25 bucks. Not enough. No. Uh, I was like, no chance. And uh, half the crowd was like, I've already seen it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, it, you know, it's a, it's becoming an exclusive club. People have experienced it. Yep. So, uh, and, and I, you know, being the great manager, right, being someone who knows how to make a lot of money out of their talent, mm. pushed a guy who didn't really know what he was doing out on stage in front of the people he embarrassed himself. I yep. still got paid, and that's that's the hallmark of good management. Really? Because you just said you lost your house in Miami, demolished. I I, re, I only re, partial refund, so you don't get your. That was your cut. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. that's kind of the cash that we're both pulling. That was ten percent. Yeah, that was ten percent. Seven million dollar deal. So I've still got my <laughs> my house, my other house in Miami. Great. That was because that was that was the guest house I lost. Yeah. The main house where I'll be staying. Okay. I've still got that. So casting calls are open. We will release a snippet of the fog bit, just yep. the text. Yeah. And that's the thing you'll think, oh, I'm getting a sneak preview into the bit. No. It's about how it's delivered, which is mm. why you're gonna get other comedians. It's to also audition. about drive and power. And yes, I will be getting other comedians to do it. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you better watch out, right? Yeah. Because. We both know it's the greatest stand-up bit of all time. I, I, I agree. And it's so good that anyone could do it. In you think that? I really think that. Anyone could do it. And Luke Kidgel, you're replaceable. Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, mark my words. Clip this, all right? I want this to be a clip. One day, Lewis will come in on his hands and knees, <laughs> crawling back. Couldn't happen. Because you know what I have? What? 
I have what made the fog bit get so big. Sure, what? you you put it out I in front of the to people. Stop doing it. No, yeah, well that a bad attitude. <laughs> when I deliver the fog bit, mm. sometimes I agree mm. it's not great. Here's the Luke Kidgel effect. Here's what Luke added to the fog bit. Uh, <laughs> uh did I do literally? This is what Luke did at the end of the fog bit. Hang on. Did I do the bit about the guys <laughs> at the start? Because the punchline is a callback to them. <laughs> On tour, it was running like a well old machine. Yeah. When I was doing it every night, mm. there was foggings fog like machine, being dropped. Some would say. Every, yes. Yeah. There was foggings being like dropped around the country, left, right, and center. Mm. And people were rejoicing in it. Yeah. Right? But I will admit, I, I, I let myself go. Yeah. I, you fallen off? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Fog comedy wise. <laughs> Yeah, but I have the bits are going heaps better, which is great. Well, that was always the case. Yeah. But the fog bit, look, I'll say this, I'll never give up on it. And as the manager of the fog okay. bit, I think there's still a lot of money to be made in there. Okay, great. And just, I'll, I'll replace just you. Just don't come calling back then. Well, mate, don't come crawling back to me. <laughs> I might actually, depending on how many refunds. <laughs> <laughs> Sold a lot of tickets yep. Yep. this week. Yeah, which we'll you, see. LukeHidger.com, get, get around the tour. Yep. If you don't want to hear the fog bit. Mm-hmm. That's right. There. And if you also don't want to hear the fog bit, loosebeers.com, Melbourne. I'm doing the comedy festival. No fog bits there. Ne- never so you're not going to audition yourself? No, no, I don't want that to be a conflict of interest. Okay. I'm, a, I'm up to my ears in contracts and bills and paperwork. If I was also performing, it's too much work. Okay. But then you take 100%. You're happy 20, with your 90. 90. Yeah. Okay. It um, fluctuates. Great. <sighs> if you so, read your original contract, there's no, there's no defined split. It just okay. says... Split fluctuates. <laughs> and you signed it, so... Yeah, it was foolish of me. Yeah. In hindsight. Mm. Well, you did didn't that. believe in the fog bit, I did. When no, I... Contracts, I, you're like, this will never work, I'll sign it. Exactly. Good luck. Yeah. Um, so I went to, see, um, went to see Spider-Man last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Late. Is it was it, one of the first times you've ever seen a movie after me. Yeah, I went away for a week, and I also had to catch up, so I'd never seen the old ones. Are we giving up. these people a spoiler alert? No. no I'm all, not going to talk about the film. Okay, good. I'm not going to... Well, it, it was good. Mm. It was fine. Yeah. It was great, actually. It was... Look, it was pretty good. Watch... It was two hours of, remember this? I, I didn't think... No. Remember this guy I, from the other one? Okay, well, spoiler alert. Um, so <laughs> it's been out for a month. Yeah, it's been out for a month. I feel Who like that's what a, a lot of Marvel movies are becoming now is because the story is so big. It's if, just two and a half hours of, remember this guy? As a Marvel fan... Yeah. I felt like I walked into the cinema. Mm. I felt like they undid my fly. I felt like I relaxed. Yeah. And they just jerked off the yeah. fan base yeah. for like two and a half hours. Yeah. And I was loving it. Mm. What Like this plot, sure. Yeah. They, it was a movie. Yeah. Watching three Spider-Man in a row swing off a building. That was Now cool. that was fucking awesome. That was cool. That was yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's about 15 minutes into the film. I've done so much work to catch up to get up to speed with spider-man because i've watched the marvel cinematic universe yeah. but i'd never watched the old ones when right. i was a kid even yeah i'd never seen See, a this, full this the toby mcguire with one the, with, with, they're doing this multiverse thing where there's multiple universes now you got to watch every single marvel property film no, you, you gotta watch films that are not marvel films smart you gotta watch the x-men films or yeah the i still Spider-Man haven't seen films. them actually yeah but uh, i think i've seen wolverine i don't mm. know what's happening Bit of music outside. Tracks. Someone's yeah. pumping tracks. Well, anyway. Gone. So, I watched the, the three Toby ones, the two Andrew ones. Yeah. And, and like, and then I also rewatched the Tom Holland ones, Mate, right? It is a full-time job. Being just, a Marvel fan. Yeah. Watching yeah. the, if you want to watch one Marvel film, sucked in. Plus, I've watch watched eight. all the Disney shows, right? I'm all yeah. up to date. So, I'm ready when yeah. I get in the cinema. I've watched seven movies and a lot of shows on Disney Plus to be here. Cannot wait to enjoy it. I finally, can't, I can't do the TV series. I've put my, my I love them. I've drawn a line in the sand. Hawkeye was dope. I, I, I'm sure they're great. Yeah, but I'm drawing a line in the sand. I do not have time to engage with the TV Marvel universe, and I won't. Spoiler alert: at the very end, with the end credit scene of the Spider-Man one, when they brought in the Scarlet Witch, whose show I intentionally decided not to watch, I was like, "Fuck." Yeah. They're trying to make me watch it. Of course. One Division was probably the best one. I know it's good, but it's I don't have time. You do. 
No, but I want to watch other things. If I want yeah. to watch other things, it's like you are either watching all of the Marvel yeah, things. Yeah, I just watch that. Or you're watching I just watch Marvel and Star things. Wars. That's yeah. pretty much all I watch. See, man, I got it, man. I got to blast through 900 episodes of Naruto. I'm a busy man. <laughs> yeah, you got shit to do. Mm. Um, so anyway, it gets 15 minutes into the film. Yeah. And there's it's that hectic scene. He's walking back into his old high school or something, Tom Holland. Yeah. And then the fire alarm starts Fucking blaring. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this sounds pretty realistic. <laughs> like, but it doesn't really match the scene. Yeah. It was like, burr, burr, this is a fire alarm. Please wait till further instruction. Burr, burr. <laughs> and I was like, huh, what a weird time to place this in the film, mm. Marvel. You know, that, that made some interesting creative decisions lately. Turns yeah. out after tw- 20 seconds, I was like, this is not part of the film. Mm. This is blaring in the cinema. You know, you want to know what happened? What? Nothing. No one moves. Dude, <laughs> you are the guy. I when didn't. I, I didn't budge. You didn't I do was, anything. No, nah, I was like, this building would have to be crumbling. I've come too far to be here. This building has to be literally crumbling down around me for me to get the fuck out of my seat and not watch three Spider Mans w- team up. So you. That's literally how people die. Remember, we told a story earlier. This is the difference between you and me. There were kids in the cinema. No one moved. This, <laughs> this is the and difference. And I didn't give a fuck. If anything, I was like, rewind it so I can hear it. I'm, I was, everyone was just like, shut up. It's ruining the movie. That's terrible. <laughs> That's how everyone dies. This is the difference between you and me. Some people might remember last year, a few episodes ago, Keel and I told a story about the fire alarm going off in the swimming pool. I instantly get out of the pool and I go, is this a fire alarm or is it an active shooter? Where are the other exits? And I go, I'm going to go out of this exit, less traffic. Foolish. Yeah. Hear a fire alarm in the pool, stay in the pool, go underwater. That's, That's what everyone did. How people die. You That's, suffocate doing that. Mm-hmm. Because of the smoke. Yeah. But yeah. but me, Keelan and Rosie were the only people that got out of the pool and started Nerds. going towards the exit. People didn't start. People didn't start going towards the exit until the fire brigade walked in the building. This is the problem with fire alarms. It's like ninety eight percent of the time a false alarm. Yes, or a toast. Someone's burnt their toast. Yeah, yeah. like mm. someone. I, what I bet. I I literally just turned to me. I was like, someone probably burnt popcorn. Who gives a fuck? Just kept watching. And look, the pool, it was a false alarm. The movie, uh, you're still here, so it was a false alarm. Yeah. But it's that 2%. Well, man. I don't know. It didn't stop until one guy eventually goes, oh, gets out of his seat, not running, walks down so slowly, complains to the staff, then it turns off, then he walks back in and everyone goes, cheers, dude. Man, how silly would he feel meeting God and God tells him his last words were, can you turn that fucking alarm off? I'm trying to watch <laughs> Spider-Man. Dude, it was so annoying. Yeah. That's like it was a, and I feel like I missed a lot in that mm. scene. It could have been like the scene after when nothing happened. I was yeah. filthy when it went off. Yeah, that's like I watched a TikTok today of like people doing experiment of putting people in a waiting room and then they blast smoke underneath the door and everyone except for one guy is an actor and all the people look at the smoke and don't react to it and then the guy who's not an actor just stays in there for like thirty minutes with smoke coming out of the door. That's you. Yeah. Like, well, well, everyone only, else is doing nothing. I guess I'll just cook. No, only if I have a reason. Like, if I'm like, oh, I don't want to... I weigh up the situation. So if someone was dangling keys in front of your face, you're staying. Sure, but like... Or, or, or you know, one of the best Marvel films of all time. It doesn't matter what it is. It's yeah. like, I just watched it and I was mm. like... I'm like, man, I really want to be here. Yeah. And I didn't want to read it again because it's taken me three weeks to go to the cinema to see it true that is annoying and, I, and we are mm. busy yeah and i was away for a week and stuff i was like oh i'm not gonna be able to reschedule this for another week i mean because you're already technically Late. risking death going to the cinema anyway sure you're like you're you already shouldn't go to the cinema because of covid oh. you know but no one's really doing that i'm still Everyone's like, kind of open to it yeah i've changed my tune on that well we need to talk about this yeah. guys because uh we did a big bet last week right last week's episode Who's going to get COVID first? Regular listeners may have heard one less laugh mm. this week. Yep. <laughs> one less laugh, one man down. Now, Tyler is no no longer here. Intern Tyler. Yep. Now, surprise, surprise, he wasn't fired. Okay? But he is on thin ice. <laughs> People After are probably this, shocked thin ice. right now. They're yeah. like, oh. He's really treading water here because <laughs> he caught COVID. Okay? So no, that's... He brought it in. He brought it in. 
that day when we were talking about, I wonder who's going to get it first. Tyler had it in the room. He <laughs> and, had it. And yet Keelan was the one coughing and spluttering everywhere. Keelan has long COVID for sure. I've never seen a longer COVID than, than what's inside Keelan. I think you've had COVID since like January 2019. I reckon he's That's, patient zero. That, when, since the original I was tour. really sick. That was 2020 actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just never recovered from that. No, you didn't recover Actually, from that. That way. is what that is what I thought. I've said it on the show before. Yeah. I thought I caught COVID really, really early after the but regional tour. It wasn't even tour. in the country. It was. It was, but we didn't know it was. Me and Jazz called the hotline, going, "We think we have it. Can we get tested?" They were like, "Oh, you can't get tested. We don't have. We don't do tests." Right. Yeah, we were like, right. "Oh, okay, cool. We'll just isolate, I guess." Mm. Right. But here's the thing. So. Tyler gets COVID. Mm. We, you and me, spent all day with him. Keelan's already had it. He's probably going for round two next week, right? <laughs> yeah. So he's out of the bet. Now it's just down to you and me, okay? So it's it's going to be the last man standing. I can't believe I'm still going because I do stuff every weekend. Mm. Like I went to the tennis yesterday. Yeah. And then Saturday went to a Hottest 100 thing. We all knew without absolute certainty that you would get it first and then you didn't. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing. The day after we recorded the show where you and me both spent an entire day with positive Tyler, right? I then worked all day, first day back with Rosie, who's my editor, in a small room. And then that day, that night, she tests positive for COVID. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, all right, well, I'm a very close contact. I'm a double close contact. So I do a bunch of tests every single day. Straight negatives. Feel awesome. I think, and this is really sad that I'm surprised by this, the vaccine worked. <laughs> Why Isn't is that, that crazy? Why, that's good. No, but I'm surprised. Oh, yeah. It's very sad that no, I'm surprised that it definitely works. works. Yeah. Because I know people have like gone out for dinner with people, mm. and again, be in the same room with them, mm -hmm. just didn't get it. And you know why it worked? Moderna. You got the elitist one. I got the elitist one. See, I've I got, got Moderna. What did you get, Keelan? Pfizer. Fu yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang Yuck. On. There were like two or three times that mm -hmm. I was a close contact and didn't get it. It was only because I spent a week with Phoebe mm. who who was positive. That what did she got. get? Which vaccine? Pfizer. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Interesting. So I got uh, Pfizer. Still oh, going you strong. got Pfizer? Mm. Man, I'm going to miss you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really going to miss you guys. Not because you're going to die, just because when when the elites come and take everyone who's had Moderna... I'm going to miss you. Yeah. But I'll be living it up in paradise. It's going to be like the end of that Don't Look Up movie where you will go to another planet and <laughs> yeah. you get your head chopped off yeah. by a dinosaur or whatever. Mm -hmm. At least none of us here got Astra. That's almost not effective against Omicron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I read that um, that's why Australia's outbreak is so bad because they pressed everyone to get Astra right. when the rest of the countries were like, oh, we don't use that shit anymore. Yeah, right. And now we're got an outbreak bigger than everybody else well, i came out with a huge call uh last week on the prequel episode so some people may not i made a it. huge call last week too you did yeah to the queen to the queen that was crazy yeah um i said <laughs> i am above COVID. you reckon you're above it i said that and i was gonna change my tune because yeah. i thought i wouldn't even come in this week I would have yeah. said that as a joke. All of us were like, oh, well, Lewis has been with Tyler and Rosie. He's definitely going to get it. So there's going to be no episode today. Yeah. Miracle, Moderna, I'm here. I, I want to come out and make a, another big call. Mm -hmm. It's not to anyone specific. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Um, although I could if I wanted to. My phone's in the other room, so I will. I have no big calls. I, I have Dave Hughes' number. Ooh. <laughs> I, I think it's a fake. I, I could call Reese Maston. That's a big trying to think call. of who's he, but he wouldn't answer. No, he wouldn't. I could call Money Ryan. He wouldn't answer. Okay. Sorry, what's I gonna pick up all those names? Fuck. Um. I yeah think mm -hmm. Luke Kidgel will be COVID free till twenty twenty three. COVID free till twenty twenty three. Whole tour. You don't. I'm Ninety gonna get, dates. I'm gonna book in that booster. I'm gonna get blasted up with the shit. You're gonna. Get I'm gonna try vaxxed. and get vaxxed up as hell, right, dude? I'll give you a pro tip. What's you the can... opposite of an anti-vaxer? A pro-vaxer. I'm gonna be like professional vaxer. I'm gonna be a fucking. I'm gonna not, dude. I'm not gonna be able to make eye contact by the really? end of the year, dude. Well, that's good because we kind of so need many an vaccines. So if you get better at math. That would be so good for our yeah. business because neither of us are really that good at we it. We both shit at it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's really good. I think that's great. And you know what? 
you can get a Moderna booster. Can I? Yep. You do can you, mix shots. Do you reckon I can do it? No. No. <laughs> no <we're> Absolute, <laughs> absolutely not. If anyone remains COVID free, it will be me. Because I'll have I'll have three Modernas up me. The comedy festival will be hard. Yeah. Because I, I, I go out a lot as well. Yeah, we both will be going out and also meeting everyone afterwards. That's what will be the kicker. Mm. Meeting people. Shaking hands. Yeah. Licking faces. Which we yeah, I'm known for. We do for. a lot. I'm known for that. Yeah. It's like, oh, just Luke meet people after. He doesn't meet people, but he licked my nose once. Yeah, he, he goes, like, hey, oh. I'm such a big fan. Don't fucking talk to me. Lick. Uh, <laughs> get at me. No. That's good. I'll get Maybe that's why you. You are, you've are you got very good immunity because you've been licking faces all last year. Yeah, people who think the vaccine's effective, is it lick, lick someone's cheek in Rockhampton. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have heat stroke right now i'm so fucking hot in my suit oh yeah you can get changed i reckon i'm gonna die you need to get up and around people's business more like i signed an ass in albury i i don't sign men anymore that's sexist yeah (laughs) i don't sign blokes you know what's really creepy and i've been i don't sign dudes i've been waiting to bring this up for a while now on stage Mm -hmm. lewis like and he says it like it's a bit it's not a joke he goes like, guys, I'm going to be signing posters and titties after the show. That's and funny. I know it's because... You, That's and, funny. And it's not funny. That's funny. Looks great on a vlog. Does it? Yeah. Does anyone think you... Be honest. And yeah. no, no, if you found a Lewis video on Reddit once, you're not to comment. You're hey, in, that's, my, that's all my fans. Okay. That's so, not fair. <laughs> You've disqualified my whole audience. Okay. I was, tr- I was trying to ban incels from the survey. Well, all no, right? that's like that's like all my fans. Take that back. If you have you ever watched a Lewis Spears vlog, yeah, seen some, seen him like signing a tit or yeah. whatever, like so girls like this, you know, yeah. p- pumping yeah. out her cleavage and being like, Man, he's the coolest. Yeah, everyone, <laughs> everyone thinks that. That's cool. I watched one of your vlogs once, and I just died laughing. You were like, had like rap music in the background, yeah. and you're like, yeah, I'm signing titties, and I was. And just, you just don't, you just don't understand what it's like to be cool. Look at me. <laughs> I'm fucking cool ass. In Perth, you said it. You're like, I'm going to be signing titties. And yeah. Meg looks at me and goes, is he joking? And I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal? I think it's funny. You think it's funny? I think it's funny for a comedian you won't to sign do men. that. So you won't sign it. I used to. They actually. The See, hair, sign, signing a male hair. ass is funny. I know I used to do it. Signing chest signing hair. Signing a girl's ass is creepy. Fucks up the pen. Oh, because of the hair. Yeah. I used to do it, but then it would fuck up the pen and then it would mess up on everyone's poster. And I go, well, I can't have that. So I'll... But, so, but you, s- you can't sign prepubescent men. That's even weirder. Yeah, yeah. So I, how about this? I'll sign men, but you have to get your chest waxed the day before. I won't sign anyone under 18's body. No. It would never Even like anyone under 20. Nah. There was one. I, I, I won't sign a girl. Like, if a girl was like, can you sign your tits? I'd be like, no, thank you. Show me ID right now. I wouldn't do it. No. Nah. And, that's, and that's just, that's why you're not cool, man. Yeah. I'm living the rock star life. Yeah, no, you are. Party hard. <laughs> party hard. That, that's the party. I ends. think the last Text guy I signed was, was, it was like a group of 10 boys. I signed eyebrows a lot. And there was a dude that lost a bet. He's like, oh, man. I lost a bet, so I, I have to get my forehead signed by yeah. you. And then I wrote foreheads. cunt on his forehead. And he didn't know. And all of his friends were like, oh, man, that signature looks really funny. And he didn't realize that I wrote cunt till he got home. And I still feel bad about that. Yeah. In the moment, very funny. <laughs> yeah. I, <I've, laughs> but it's a bit rude. I haven't done anything that I feel bad about for a while. Because like, I did a few things early on. Mm. that I, I did stuff like that. Mm. I'd like, Or someone would tell me to like, write something fucked on their poster. And even yeah. though they told me to do it, do you really think like in a week's time, they're going to look back at the poster and be like, oh. Yeah, some people would request like, can you write this specific fuck sentence? Yeah, I, I used think to do, I used to. I used to do fun facts on my old podcast, like where I'd like the bit was like, yeah. I'd say like a fact about like the Holocaust. Yeah. And then I'd be like, that's a pretty fun fact. Yeah. And then people would get me to like write these fucking horrible things. Like this many people died in a family. Yeah, like... Famine kills and this many dude, people a when year. He, when he wrote, like, uh, how many people died in the Holocaust on a girl's chest, I took him aside and I said, that's I was like, that's heaps. Pick one or the other. And that's why I don't sign titties. Yeah. You know, because of all the swastikas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Just wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's so funny. When you've mm. done Perth, I laughed. Yeah. 
So I didn't know. But that's I've the, always that's, wanted to bring it up with it you. It is it is a joke. But then mm. it does, most shows it doesn't happen. Well, that's the thing, though. It's you say it like it's a joke, mm. but then afterwards, girls are like, "Could you please sum my breasts?" And I'm like, "Oh, who am I to say no?" But then it stops being funny because it almost like it looks like you've asked for it. That's my point. Mm. If they were just, if you didn't say anything and they were like, "I'd love Lewis for you to sum my breasts," well, I'd be like, "Well, oh, great." You know what? Frenchie also did it last show. Frenchie doesn't ask. He did it. He said, he said "I'll, it on I'll be signing titties." Yeah, stealing my bit. Yeah. Okay. He has, a, he has a weird. <laughs> I think that's the problem. You know, the <laughs> one time I was like, this is a bit much. Where there was, it was last year on Melbourne show. This girl asked me, she's like, oh, can you do it? And she was with her boyfriend. And I was like. That's weird. I was like, ooh, not sure about that. And then she was like, no, 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 please. And then he was like, yeah, definitely do it. And she goes, it's fine. I'm a sex worker. And I was like. Oh, and I was very yeah, pressured yeah. into it. Keel, you saw this. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, cool. But I'm like, I'm going to do it from a respectful height, right? So she's... You pretty thinking, much signed like her ear. <laughs> she's thinking titty. I'm like, how about collarbone? And then, and then she comes up and I pull out the pen. I turn around to get the pen. I turn back facing her. <laughs> she has her full breast out. Her whole... Because most time girls will just like... Pop. Pop just the tip. top. Pop, 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 pop you don't see cleavage, anything. Sure. I'm holding only the pen and so I I'm only, not touching. I only know this because of your vlogs. Yeah, yeah, and she she goes full breast, and I was like, "All right, well, now I'm, I'm I was literally backed into a corner, had to do it." Yeah, right. <laughs> so funny, had to. She's in prison now. <laughs> Did you report her afterwards? Yeah, yeah. I feel like pure shit. I just want my balls to thank me. Well, I have the perfect solution for you. Okay, yes, so. manscaped.com/slash/soundoff. Go to our custom link, and you can get twenty percent off and free shipping. The lawnmower four the best ball bag trimmer in the game. It seriously is. Thank we you. use it. Uh, oh, that's right, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, those are my balls saying thank you. Oh, you're welcome. That's what I say thank to my balls so every day, and I use it's it in the so shower. Loud. It's quiet. It's discreet. It's waterproof. That is a great mm. feature on it. Yeah. It seriously is the best ball bag trimmer. Uh, and and I wouldn't restrict it to ball bag. No. Let it. Let it. You know. Get it, explore. That's all I'm going to say. Mate, you can trim a, you can trim a kiwi fruit with this thing. Yeah. That's how good it is. All I'm saying is if you have a hairy gooch, try it. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. I've shamed, I've shaved my bum. And that way someone might smooch you. Thank you. That's right, mate. That was my bum hole thanking me. Very deep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, use our code. Uh, how would 20%, you know? 20% off. What did I say? You said very deep and I said, how would you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Manscaped.com slash sound off. 20% off free shipping. Use the custom link. Was that too much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but leave How it. How would in. you know? Um, so yeah, COVID free to 2023. That's my call. Mm. Probably going to get it next week. But I would love to do it. I think I'm going to try and book in my booster because everyone I know who's got the booster hasn't got it. Really? Yeah. I'm not eligible for it yet. People in the same like household like, yeah, I got it. You know, I yeah. had it, didn't get it. That's interesting. Okay. But maybe that's just what I've heard. Obviously, people have different stories below probably. But oh, man, I don't know. The whole thing's so weird. You know, there's an epidemiologist in our Discord. Oh, really? Called me out for oh, going to work sc- positive. Well, but what's I, he obviously, doing? Obviously, he wasn't positive. Back to work. Yeah. Fix it up. But you weren't positive. No, but because I joked about having symptoms. Oh, okay. He, he must hate our show. He said that that wasn't very smart of me to do. Oh, uh, but you know what? You know what's crazy? I was thinking about it, right? It's... It is, the the rules are now becoming unrealistic a little bit because say I come here and then Tyler's positive, mm-hmm. I got to take a whole week off and then I come back to my other job, Rosie's positive, I got to take a whole other week off. You don't have to. Theoretically, no, if you're a close contact you with someone who's positive, um, you just got to keep taking oh, weeks off. After like four hours in a room. So yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. little bit different for us, but in like a big office building where you might be working with, you know, 50 or so people, you no could. one's doing that though. No, everyone's just doing if you live with them. No one's doing. Yeah, the, but the, the rule is sure. But like yeah. everyone's that's just doing I mean. the shared accommodation. Yeah, thing. that's what I mean. The, yeah. Some of the rules are like I never know well, that, that actually rule. doesn't work with life. Uh, did you guys see the TikTok of the girl who tested positive? Oh no, it was a close contact with her Tinder date, and for a week they had to live together. They'd met once. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, that's so that's, weird. That I why was, did they? They didn't have to do that. I thought the first video was funny and I was like, I can't wait for the true crime series to come out like <laughs> three three years later. Jesus. Like it all started off with a viral TikTok. And there's a story from China because they just went into like a full snap lockdown again mm. <clears throat> where this woman went on a, 
a blind date with a man. And because it's a little bit different in China, they just like shut down wherever you are. And so she had to stay with this guy for like two weeks. She'd never met him before, didn't know who he was. So scary. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. They ended up becoming friends, but it was just f- funny. Well, that's a good version of that story. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, now, Lewis, mm-hmm. Hottest 100 happened over the weekend. Yep. Triple J. Big really? Australian mm. cultural event. Yep. Uh, kind of like your grand final. AFL wise, in the mm. sense that you probably didn't know it was happening. I, I, there were there were murmurs of it. I saw a few of my artist friends campaigning. Yep, to be voted for. I'm like, oh, that must be coming up. Did you vote? Uh, no, nah. no. Nope. Okay, good friend, you yeah. are. I voted for all my artist friends. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't vote for. I didn't vote at all. Yeah, voted for. Voted for Lane. Yeah. Voted for Mashton Kutcher. Yeah. Um, That's good. You know, a few other people. But right. great. Um, yeah. I. Uh, don't even know who won. I didn't. I didn't celebrate this day. Well, um, I, holding no, out for Australia Day. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm, I, the, I'm the opposite. It, I will admit it felt a little low key this year. The event yeah. I was at, usually about thirty plus people. A lot of people have COVID. Seven. Wow. Seven people. Yeah. Ended up just doing it in in someone's house inside because it was hot. It was like it was thirty four so degrees, hot. and there was everyone's like. There was a confusion up, up in the week of who's even coming. Yeah. Like, what's going to be happening? How many people are going to be in action? It was pretty low-key. And yeah. I felt like that happened around Australia a bit. I saw some good parties happen. With the, with the COVID stuff, you almost need, if you're planning a big event, you almost need two backup houses to have a party. Yeah, like if, like at the if moment. If you're doing Triple J or, like, Australia Day, right, you do need, all right, well, if Tony gets it, We've got Sarah's place as a backup. Yeah. And if she gets it, we've got Michelle's place. So you have no idea who won? No, I don't know who won. This is perfect. I know that Kid Leroy was up there. Yep. But I also, I feel like I only know that because I feel like that should have happened. Well, the winner. Who, who won? You, I was very proud of our country. Because nah, you will probably okay. guess it. The, the Weeknd dropped an album. I know he was up there last time. Uh, fuck. Who's this? I Lil don't know. Nas was up there. Yeah, Lil Nas. Olivia, Pine Top Ten. Lime Cordial. One, a few TikTok yeah. songs. Rufus had a few tracks Who's in there. Who's Rufus? Really? Is that the the weasel from Kim Possible? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a DJ group. Oh right, I didn't yeah, know he yeah. made music. Um, <laughs> what a sick reference! <laughs> yeah, I just pulled out of the my brain. Yeah, that, there. you fucking mind for that very quickly. Nailed that. Um, <laughs> The chats, the pub feed, did that come out recently? I think that was a 2020 release. Uh, fuck, who else is big? Kanye put an album. Album. He didn't poll that well. Like he was in there. I I didn't mind it. Hurricane slapped. So his latest mean. album has a couple good songs. Yeah, yeah. No, quantity over quality. Album. Uh, so you have no idea who won. No. Well, I was very proud of our country. Hundreds of thousands of votes get cast. By people of all different demographics. I'm kind of shocked all the about Kid Leroy not winning. Came second. Because, oh. Stay a- came second. You know what? Well, but who could have beaten Stay? The Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Number no one. No way. You didn't hear about this? No. It was really big news. They won with their elephant, the Tame Impala color, uh, cover, sorry, where they like, they, it's like a mashup between Fruit oh. Salad, Yummy Yummy, and Tame Impala. Took oh, it out. Because Tame Impala always do well. Usually. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, right. for years. But um, that's awesome, dude. It, Australia's the best country ever. I did vote for it because I I had heard rumors that it could poll well, so I put it in my votes that's just to funny. see. I was like, let's just see if this pulls through, because I was like thinking maybe top ten. Man, that would have made so many people very upset. Yeah, and I don't know what happened if people knew or they kept it a secret because sports bet fucked up their betting. Yeah. 20 minutes before it, they had Kid Leroy $1.40 to win. And then they had like $7 or something was the Wiggles. Right. So I was like, maybe they were trying to get everyone to load up on just... On the Wiggles. Or just like, oh, no, no, on Kid Leroy. Yeah, right. But then they would have, would have had to pay out so much money for people who did bet on And the a Wiggles. lot of people, knowing sports bet animals, would have put money on the Wiggles because it was funny. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Because funny bets is like a big thing. And, and that was like going to go top three. Like people thought that would go. There's, I reckon there's got to be like fucking a hundred people that work at Triple J that just make so much money out of sports bet every year. 
Yeah, but like off their friends, he kissed and family, oh, so yeah. it's untraceable. There's no way there isn't like six. There isn't like a big secret Telegram group of Triple J employees going. The Beatles one. Well, that happened at your birthday a few years ago. Luke had Galangela, so he wasn't there, and one of your friends who works in radio was like, "These are the top five. Oh and yeah, then we as were told. As you're listening, it was like boom, boom, boom. And it was correct. Yeah, and yeah, and right. I did have the thought of like, I should put money in. But then I was like, I work in radio. I can't do that. Oh, you should have. If I worked in sales. You got Jazz to do it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah, that's... um. <laughs> that's how you do things illegally. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how Andy Lee bought that big house recently. <laughs> that's what people are saying. That's, what, that's the, the rumor mill's flying. Um, What... What? Oh, did he? Okay, cool. He bought a big house recently. Does that make the news? Yeah, really. Well, especially when you make the money off. off or did you the find out about J-Bow. this through Mike or something? No, nah, yeah, it always makes the news. Oh, yeah. I don't read the news, and I think it shows a lot. No way. Yeah. People, are you shocked? Killing, <laughs> <No>. Killing's flabbergasted. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you didn't hit. That's so weird that you missed. So the Wiggles thing. won, and what was great in their post-match interview, you yeah. know, I wanted a full credit to the boys type setup. Mm. They got, you know, the original guys, Anthony Murray's there. Yeah. Jeff's probably hanging back. Um, it was no, state. Jeff was there, but he actually didn't he respond at all. Snooze, like, dude. Like, you'd great. hate to be the kid, Laurie, by the way, just like getting beaten by the Wiggles. The Wiggles. Like quarter of their band was unconscious the whole time, contractually. Kid Leroy, I think, <laughs> was like the most streamed artist in the world, or definitely yeah. top five this year. A kid from Australia, so good. betrayed by his own country, like, mate, because he, the Wiggles was funnier. He went over to LA, he yeah. collabed with the biggest pop star in the world, made a yeah. fucking phenomenal song. Became and, bigger than the biggest pop star in the world. Yep, in one year. year. Yeah. And then Australia's like, Yeah, but this is pretty funny, you isn't it? You ain't... Nothing compared to the Wiggles, man. And and unfortunately, that's true. You can dance around as much as you want, but if you don't even sing about yummy salad, dude, I want you to say whatever, bro. I want a hot potato. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, anyway, so that Anthony gets on the phone. Mm. He reveals on air that he got he got wind. He goes, oh, I only heard about this competition last year through my daughter. <laughs> So he goes, pretty crazy. And he goes, so he, he goes I said to my he daughter last on, year. He didn't know about Hottest 100 at all? No. And I think that's odd for someone who's vaguely in the Australian music industry. I guess they're children's entertainers, so they're probably not. Still. I don't care. Still the biggest music artist we have. The Wiggles. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he goes, oh, and I remember saying to my daughter last year, she was getting really into it during COVID. She's calling her friends about it. He goes, oh, I'm excited to listen to it with you next year. Next year's <laughs> one will be good. Like, great for them. That is good. Imagine, Big flex on your daughter. Imagine last year hearing about it, then you one year on, you 365 days later, you're taking out the competition. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually what I'm going to do at uh, the next Olympics. Do you reckon? Yeah. So you just got wind of it this year. In freestyle, yeah. Just started swimming last year. Yep. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll win that next time. I can't wait for that. I'll yeah. be sleeping in the background. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Best, best news from the Wiggles. They're going to do a cover of Apple Crumble by Lime Cordial. Man, that is just... How sick is that? That's Keelan's wet Damn, dream. Yeah. That's the only music he listens to is Lime Cordial and The Wiggles. Yeah. Combine. Yeah. It's all you drink and listen to. Yeah. <laughs> Two favourite bands. <laughs> um, and it's about Apple Crumble. <laughs> what is good is we're going to see The Wiggles live. So we're going to see the top ticket in the country. Oh, I forgot about that. In sick. March. That's good. Oh, that's right. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. That is sweet. That's great. I can't uh, wait for them to do Pub Feed. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Um, I've got a couple more things. Do yeah. you have anything? No. Nah, I isolated week. for a whole week because yep. I was with two positives. I went to the tennis yesterday. Oh, did you? Yep. Yep. Um, and <laughs> I went to see Rafael Nadal. Yep. That was good. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, it was a promotional thing. Yeah. You know? I, I, I'm not a tennis fan, mm. but when you're given the opportunity to go see one There's going to be one disappointed epidemiologist in our Discord. Why? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Why? Because I'm good living my life. Yeah, I was gonna be disappointed with me and fifty thousand other people who are there. Yeah, um, <laughs> who gives a shit, right? I, I, my 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 lungs, my choice. Uh, so I'm I'm living yeah. it up, right? Yeah, it was great. And man, what's with the wedgie thing? Is does anyone know? Is there a reason why I'm Pixie's wedgie? Rafael Nadal between points, no. or is it like a t- is it like an OCD thing? It yeah. might be an OCD. Lots of lots of. Isn't there one tennis? Does it before every point? So when he's waiting there, yeah. goes, every single point. And I couldn't yeah. figure it out the whole game. Maybe he's got a dump truck. He does have a bit of a dumpy. Mm. But what have you ever been to the tennis? No, nah. it's not a great spectator sport because you have to be quiet 
during the points. Mm. And also you can only get up if you're in the lower section of the stadium, which is where we were. Um, you, you, had, you couldn't get out, like get up to leave. At all. Otherwise, they just, like stop the game if anyone gets out of their chair because it's like distracting. Right. So you have to you get once every three games when they change so ends, you get a minute to get up and leave. Oh, okay. So I was busting to piss right, but I go no, I'll wait till the end of the game. It was halfway through the set. That's this, dangerous with tennis because tennis games can be like half an hour or they can be seven hours. Dude, it went so I was like, I wait till the end of the set. It was at the thirty-five minute mark in the set when I yeah. really needed to piss. This set ends up going for one hour and twenty minutes. The, Wait, no, the tiebreaker. Playing. The tiebreaker went to sixteen fourteen because they have wow. to win by two, so it just yeah. keeps going until one of them gets two ahead. Yeah, it's supposed to go to like seven. The tiebreaker. So already they're at they've six games each. So they played the maximum amount of games. Yeah. I'm busting. Yeah. I'm at the point where I'm like, someone just fucking win, right? Yeah. But what's blowing? What's r- even ruining my day even harder? It's thirty three degrees. There's thousands of people pa- squashed into this sauna of a stadium. Yeah. It goes silent, and then you get the. The dad joke dads, where they they have eight thousand people as an audience, yeah, a bit of unknown confidence, can hear. yeah, and whatever you say, the players can hear. It's small. Tennis stadiums are small. Yeah. It's probably one of the only sports where you can just everyone, every player can hear you. So the the ref goes quiet, please. <laughs> the whole stadium goes quiet. One dad just goes, "Now, by the way, just a bit of context for this joke. We were not watching a women's game." Go Serena <laughs> Crushes People laugh Lights up the stadium Hello, The wow. ref laughs Into the mic You hear the ref laugh <laughs> Because Because <laughs> It's Rafael Nadal And some French guy And she's not and there And she's not there And it's a men's game And I don't even know If she plays anymore I think she might be retired I'm yeah. not sure Now that's funny Because You would only In a normal circumstance <laughs> It would be very acceptable For you to say Go Serena If you were watching Serena Williams playing Or any woman called Serena mm-hmm. Right In any sport But If you didn't get it The reason that's funny yeah. Is because there are two men playing Serena's not there She's not even in the stadium So He's saying that In a place where it's inappropriate And we're with I'm with my brother And a few boys that are on TikTok Called Swag on the Beat Right mm. They make sketches We're yeah. in a big row And there's great a Great name There's a bit of Yeah great name we, we, There's a bit of daring each other Yeah Like in the quiet bits To yell something A bit of that going around the mm. group Yeah One heckle that we thought of Because it would have just That actually would have been a bit funny When they hit it into the net On their serve And it doesn't make it over And just goes to the ground It always looks pathetic Yeah It makes that pretty loud noise It'd yeah. be pretty funny to yell Oh, you're actually going to get it over the net. Yeah, that's good. There was a bit of chat about that. Yeah, no one just, had, and that's funny because you're advising a professional, <laughs> and, and and he's really number rude. six in the world. Yeah, and has won heaps of Grand Slams. Rafael Nadal. And then the other layer of like humor to that is that he already knows that. Yes, and that's obvious. <laughs> that's good. And that was what he was trying to do. So that's why that's funny. So whenever someone else got a big laugh, my yeah. brother keeps leaning and goes, "That could have been you." That could have been you. He's like, this is the, this could be the biggest gig you've ever done. Like, Man, there's 8,000 people here. it was fucking weird when I was watching the Today Show. I saw you doing the entire fog bit in the middle of the court. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just couldn't handle it. You're like, I'm going to show these guys how it's really <laughs> yeah. done. You know what my least favorite one of the whole day was? Mm. This is like, we're sitting there for three hours. Yeah. What bothers me, and it would bother you too, is I... You don't want to seem butthurt about it because you're a comedian. Yeah. But it also bothers me heaps fucking more... Because when someone yells something that doesn't even make sense yeah. and everyone laughs, I go, why is that funny? Yeah. Why did you laugh at them? Yeah. So it goes silent again. Quiet, please. Now where I remind you who's playing. It's Rafael Nadal versus some French guy. Is Serena Williams there? She's not there. Oh, okay. That's who's playing. Okay. Quiet, please. Two seconds later. Novak Djokovic crushes. Has just yelled a Herald, a Herald Sun headline. Yeah, yeah, yeah but in I a don't, room, I don't think, and it annihilates because it's tennis fans. Well, maybe you don't understand why that's funny. Let me explain. <laughs> so there's two men playing. Neither of them are Novak. He Djokovic. didn't say go. Yeah, he just said it. Yeah, so that's that's what bothered me. That, well, okay, you know what? That's not funny. Take it's it back. not funny. Yeah, can't explain it, and yeah. I couldn't explain it because look, if he had said go Novak Djokovic, yeah. I would have been like, okay, stealing Serena joke. Yeah. Because it was afterwards. So he's stealing the other guy's joke. 
Yeah. Just same format, replacing the name. Dude, you know that guy just charged himself up for like 30 minutes oh, going, yeah. oh, it's like fun. he thought of that straight after the guy said Serena Williams. <laughs> He's the guy that says your joke louder in class and gets a bigger <laughs> laugh. He's also the guy that's like, damn me, damn me to say it. Yeah. And everyone's like, nah, man, just shut the fuck up. Yeah. We'll get kicked out. Nah, damn me, damn, damn me. me. What happens to those people? Do they get kicked no. out? No. No. That's why we were scared about getting kicked out because we were there for like a brand. So we were like, oh, I don't want to. You're getting paid to be there. Yeah. We don't. We want to be the guys where the brand goes, hey, we heard you guys got kicked out. Never again. Mm. Um, so we're Good like, advertising though. Sure. <laughs> but, but it wouldn't have even reflected on the brand no. at all. Uh, it just would have been reflected. Who, who was the brand? Well, it doesn't matter because they're not paying me to talk about it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, but anyway, that... That's good. You should have just yelled the brand name. I stewed about that for like 30 minutes. I sat there and I was like, why is that funny? And Jack's like, just let it go. Yeah. And I was like, it's not funny. And everyone laughed. Jack yeah. laughed. Yeah. My brother laughed. I was like, yeah, why are you dis- laughing at that? Disappointing. Disappointing. He goes, oh, I just thought it was funny. And that's why he's the, he's the numbers man behind the scenes. Jack? But no, but this is what it made me feel bad about. Like I'm the only one. It does uh, here that doesn't find that. Fight. Sound yeah. of flow. Would you laugh at that? Because heaps that, of people did. I think that I might go shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have laughed at that. Yeah, that would be good. That's funny. But I was not around some guy just yelling a kind of a joke from a week ago. Maybe he had heat stroke. <laughs> Maybe he was just screaming out shit was, that he could remember. Yeah, it was bad. It does always make you feel particularly bad as a comedian when someone does your job really well accidentally. Yes. No one's accidentally a brilliant gymnast. Everyone's accidentally hilarious. Oh, all the time. All the time. Almost funnier than every comedian is your mate getting a real good zinger on you. The Serena one didn't bother me because I understood the joke. Yeah. I was like, I understand all the lays to that. What was the joke? Well, because Serena wasn't playing. Oh. Um, And... And I've heard people at the footy yell, go Frio at like a Melbourne Collingwood game. I think that we've done that. Probably. Yeah. And I'm guilty of finding that kind of comedy funny in the past. So I'm not going to judge. And also tennis is quite an older person's sport. Yeah. And the people who who tennis attracts are like, oh, cheeky. Yeah. That's the vibe. Yeah. And it wasn't me. Mm. It wasn't fair. So I I won't be, I won't be rushing back to the tennis. No. uh, Unless I get it for free, obviously. So your Drinks review included. at the end of that, great tennis, terrible comedy. Love the drinks. Yeah. Love the food package. I think you could say the opposite about Luke's show. Great comedy, shit house tennis skills on display. About my show. Mm. Sure. Yeah, I'll be doing no tennis. Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of tennis fans will be very upset I about did that. If, I swear to God, if I have a joke that bombs and someone goes, oh, maybe try doing a punchline, mm. I would... Actually, probably find that funny because that's what I was going to say to Rafael Nadal. Yeah, that would suck. It's or, the same. What if someone like you're you're halfway through your bit? There's a bit of a silent bit, and someone goes, "Go, Serena Williams." <laughs> someone that's will good. do that now, and it will bomb, <laughs> and it will confuse the shit out of everyone. And I'll know, I'll probably forget, and yeah. then I'll be like, "Oh, because." It- and that someone will be me. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's that's the end. Yes, that's the end of the episode, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, we're going to be pumping out main channel videos very soon. We're going to uh, start filming them this week, so they'll be coming out Fast in the coming weeks. Fast food tier list yes. is coming out very soon. Yes. That's the next one? That's the next one. What's this week's? This week's is the swimming one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, we, the, we raced the race? an Olympian uh, in, uh, in the pool. In Perth last year, Paralympian. Yep. Um, it was, for those who may remember, Keelan pretty much set up a situation where he could verse a Paralympian yeah. in the hopes to beat them comfortably. And yeah. did. <laughs> way to spoil it. And tried, oh. tried way too hard. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you know what? After a lot of reflection and a lot of uh, introspection, so did I. Tried, wa- tried way too hard. You were equally as bad of a, as a fender. In, in fact, Keel and I went over the footage in disbelief. I may have been even faster than Keelan. Yeah, and then you pulled your back. <laughs> and I really hurt my neck. And I haven't been able to swim that fast since. So stay tuned for that. that maybe is... I'll be, hey, maybe in the next Olympics, I'll be racing next to him. So embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for that, guys. We'll talk to you very soon. And also come see us at the Comedy Festival in Melbourne. Yes. And I'm going on tour. I'm coming everywhere. Dates are at Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye.